I was gaining so much weight, y'all. Like, I was stressed out. D and J. fan we are back with another video and as you can see from the title below we are coming to you with the next part in our series now listen y'all favorite shows going hiatus for spring breaks and things like that y'all won't let me live <laughs> on every social platform how y'all just start a series and don't want to finish it how you, when you, when's the next video listen it was easter okay <laughs> Okay, like I was placing eggs. If you didn't follow us on Instagram, we was doing stuff for the kids. So just bear with us. Mm -hmm. But we are back today with another video, continuing, you know, the story that we have and how we left off. But before we get into that, what we need to do, baby? We need you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell. Click the bell. Click the doggone bell. And follow our social channels below. Shout out to all of you guys who are following us on TikTok. We hit 100K. <laughs> So we have been doing some storytelling on there, some awesome challenges, dances, totally out of our comfort zone, so make sure you guys follow us on there and join the fam. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so piggybacking off of the last video, we kind of talked about how, you know, we are now pregnant, we got all of these emotions, and then we kind of just found out, you know, that <laughs> our surrogate's baby daddy was in jail. So kind of taking it from when we found out, you know, it's kind of like a peak, right? So like we're feeling like we're at the top of the world at this point. You know, we're expecting a baby. First time around, you can just imagine our excitement. We just saved all of this money. <laughs> and so like, you know, emotions are high. I think we end up going to the store that night. That night, Terrell, like we were so excited, y'all. We went to Target and we started looking at all the baby stuff. Like, I think we even bought a few things. I don't feel comfortable getting no bottles of this clearance. Why not? Is it Oh, it warms it. <laughs> That's your daddy. Every time we went to the store, we was buying different like baby things and it started off very generic. I think Jarius had a feeling that it was gonna be a girl, but we just started buying just all kind of baby stuff. But to get to our relationship with our surrogate, things definitely wasn't on the up and up <laughs> um, like that. I feel like shopping was our escape. It changed very quickly. Yeah, so one again, just to recap, you have to remember that she's five and a half, six hours away from us, which isn't too terrible considering some surrogates are like out of the country. But before we got into this, I was building a real relationship. We moved really fast, but I felt like I connected with this particular person. I felt like, you know, we had a clear understanding she was in it for the right reasons. And I just felt in my soul that it was just like, all right, this is gonna be great. I think what happened was that it became more of a transactional, like we said in the last video, where it was, you know, the, the check-in started becoming um, a, a little bit less, like it wasn't as genuine. You know, the tech starts slowing down, the phone stopped answering the phone calls as much. And so you can imagine how for us, it was just like- But well, you're now, carrying our baby. You're carrying our child and like, I'm in you're so far away. So we did our absolute best. We would go out there and try to like, you know, just spend the day with her. We went for like ultrasounds. <laughs> so you know we did our best i felt like we was doing our part to try to be there and be supportive but it was kind of met with like a roadblock and we couldn't figure out what that was i think from my perspective of it i think it was her fiance at the time like we told you guys he didn't believe that we were really gay he thought that we was like somehow trying to be with her and be in a relationship with her some type of way and just have a baby with her because again this was her egg but i think as time progressed it was he just started like pulling back and he would start like i don't know like he'll give a little and then he'll take, take it back it like it was 
it was just like on one minute, like our emotions were everywhere, guys. Like one minute we felt like he was like cool with it. He'll he'll actually text. Well, he'll be on Facebook, so he'll write us on Facebook. And then the next minute it's just like he's stressing her out, or it's just some drama going yeah, on. Yeah, like he just unnecessarily like mad at her for one day, and then it'll come back to the baby situation, and he would yeah. be making like slick comments to her, like you did this, like you know, just all kind of stuff like that, stressing her out. And I think from her perspective, she started to be like well now I have all of this drama in my life and it's because of I'm being a surrogate so then she would take that out on us yeah and so you know while we would check in it was just like I remember one time like I was crushed we would have our normal check-ins and like I said she had pulled back from me so we tried to talk you know I tried to call her one day and she didn't answer and I was like hey like I'm just trying to check in like haven't heard from you why and she like blew up on me she was just like this isn't my I don't live and breathe this like I have my own family and I'm spending time with them right now like I can't answer the phone when you want me to and I'm over here just like in tears <laughs> like crying in tears I was gaining so much way y'all like I was stressed out and so I felt like we just like continue pushing like you can't do much in that situation like your hands are tied because you can't clap back you know like normal so you kind of feel powerless which I think made us so emotional because you have this person that's carrying something so precious to you and then they're kind of like in control especially with the route that we went because it was no like no mediator in between it so I think that that part was just like really difficult and tough for us but I think it all kind of went to the back of our head every time we got to see ultrasound or when we did get a good checking in or you know she went to a doctor's appointment and they were saying everything was fine I think it kind of like erased those thoughts it would be like every time she would give us a little glimpse we would be like okay well it's gonna change we like, were counting down like yeah. the calendar <laughs> I was like yeah, okay we, we have this like, many more weeks left it, it's gonna change it's gonna get better and then what really like made me mad about the situation was the check-ins and the good times would happen when it was time for payment because again we are, we had a, a contract and we would agree that at the beginning of each month you know we send her a certain amount and you know at the end of the pregnancy at the end of the contract it would add up to a certain amount and then we give her a final payment she would be like non-existent didn't want to talk oh y'all stressing me out all month long but then at the end of the month beginning of the month then it's like hey guys like just wanted to let you know like Aubrey kicked today or like she's doing well this is is what we ate blah 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 and then we give her the money and it go right back to normal and like for me it you know actually this is like bringing back a lot of emotions and it's like I know you really dealt with it but just thinking about it like that's so mean you're carrying our child and I know it's you know partly hers too but it's just like we're the ones who are putting in all of the financial investment like and we're just trying to make sure that you're taking care of yourself that you're stress-free that you aren't you know in a, a messed up environment and we just want to do everything we can to help and to be met with like y'all are stressing me out I'm like that's heartbreaking to go through that knowing that you have like the one thing that we wanted most in this world and I think that's how people who go after like kids and surrogacy get scammed because your mind is so tunnel vision that you're so focused on one thing and I can admit back then and it's more to come y'all on, on like us actually ending up with kids on what happened you would be surprised but you get so ton of vision because you're so set on like I want to be a parent I want to bring a child in the world that literally she could have conned me out of this house just to get my daughter here to make sure that you're doing right so it was just like it was really tough but again during those times we ended up having like an awesome gender reveal so if you guys I think that's our very first video on here so like I'll insert that right now three two one go Team Welcome Pink. Team Pink. Mommy, dad knew that you were coming first and we found out today. And we're in here looking at clothes for you. And dad is gonna know how to dress you because your daddy don't know squats. Just want to let you know. Love you. You can see it in our face. Like we were just like super over the moon excited. And the crazy thing is, is like for me, I was so hesitant about being a parent because you know, like in your mind, you think, okay, well you need to have this, 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 and this, and this done before you start working to become a parent. And we didn't do all of those things. So for me, I was so nervous. But when we actually found out we were expecting, it was just like a complete 180. Everything just changed to like, you wake 
wake up and you check the apps. Like, you know, you're, you're looking at baby clothes all day. You're imagining what life is going to be like with this little person. And then it's just like, I don't know. It, I think, you know what? You know what's strange? I think thinking about it, this is going to sound so weird. I think from the moment that she said, I'm pregnant, I feel like I grew up. Like, I don't, I don't know yeah. how to specifically explain it so much, but like, I feel like, and I know y'all probably <laughs> won't, because most people are just like, when a baby gets here, like, you feel it. But I feel like once she told me, and once it's just like, you're gonna be a dad, something in my head, like, I became so selfless to that situation. Like, we were, we aren't rich, we weren't rich at the time, but it's just like, I was willing to sacrifice and make sure that everything was just in order before his or her arrival because we didn't know at the time but it was just like i'm gonna be a parent my mindset grew like like completely switched it was it's like strange thinking back on it yeah now. it's it's crazy just how like that parental instinct just kicks in at different points it could be as early as when you find out or as late as when the baby's here but it, it does happen for everybody but i think one of the most important things that i learned during this time was that just because you are pregnant that's only half of the battle it's staying pregnant that's the real battle and i don't want to scare anyone that is pregnant but like you know miscarriage is a very real thing and like i'm actually like tearing up because i just told this story last night and you know it's just it's a very real topic i know that it's it's gonna help a lot of people out there so we can't wait to share it with you but hopefully you have enjoyed this video and getting to know just our crazy situation of everything we getting been pregnant to, to <laughs> become parents yeah. literally we was gonna stop at nothing yeah to have our family so with that like jari said we hope you enjoyed this video so our next video isn't going to be on such the high level but it's going to actually be breaking down step by step on exactly what happened with aubrey with that situation and like how literally our lives changed forever so make sure you drop a comment let us know what you think and we're gonna link a preview to the next video right now love you guys so much peace Then the next call that I got was from our surrogate. When I answered, it wasn't her, it was the fiance. Hey Terrell, the baby's gone. What's going on? Like, talk to me, like, what's going on? He was like, Aubrey's gone. My heart just dropped. 